Hey y'all, welcome to Hardcore Enduro, where it's all about getting out and riding the hard stuff. I'm George, the guy behind the bars and the voice behind the mic. And today we're out in Warner Valley. I've been wanting to come here since I passed through here back in 2019 on my way to Rhode Island. I just had a little evening ride and I found this little trail that goes up the bluff. And I said, I'm going to come back here one day. And I finally was able to come back. I got Kyle and Colin with me. This is day three of our OAF tour that we're on for the, the next week. So we're heading out over to the start of the trail here. And I, I've looked online. I haven't been able to find a name for it. Um, I use my off-road app and there's no name for a trail either. So it's just one of them kind of hidden trails that you can find. And it's, it's a hard one. So if somebody knows the name of this trail, just uh, send a comment out there. I'm just going to call it the Steps of Doom because there's a series of steps that are just massive. And it took all three of us a long time to get our bikes up. So for those who haven't been to Warner Valley before or Sand Hollow, Sand Hollow is actually up on top of the bluff. Then Warner Valley is the, the valley below the big bluff here. It's a uh, mixed terrain of just like sandstone and then red like sand dunes so you go from very sandy conditions into rocky conditions and there's like almost no middle ground but the red sand is just beautiful the red bluffs everything is such a contrast here you got this orange red sand orange red rock with uh, the blue distant mountains. I mean, it, it's just picturesque. Everywhere you look, you could make a postcard of this place. So the weather forecast for today says a storm's coming in and it's gonna be about an inch of rain starting about one o'clock in the afternoon. We didn't get the earliest start. It is cold out here, I think at the morning was about 37 degrees so really no big reason rush to uh, start early in the morning in the summer days you know you got to start that early that right early beat the heat but now that it's cooled off quite a bit it's nice to start a ride around nine o'clock now we're getting closer we're coming up to a little dune that it's like a mini airs rock you know the big rock and there it is Right there out ahead, that uh, big rock in the middle of Australia, this sand dune looks, just reminds me of it. And um, that's kind of where the start is. So you find that Ayers Rock here, and then you're gonna head straight up the bluff. Here we go. So this first part is just this real sandy climb. And you gotta carry your speed because you just dig in. It's not much of an incline, but it's enough that if you stop, you lose your momentum, you just dig a hole. Alright, we're off. No turning back now. This is the beginning of the trail. You gotta get a lot of speed on this first part. It's super soft and sandy. Cut through these rocks to carry up this first face. And it's steep and <laughs> of course that'll do it. Uh, and it's just pure sand straight into the rocks. So there's no middle ground. All right, so I'm gonna pivot around here and zigzag up this little face. So this trail is an extreme trail. It's got exposure on your right and your left. And it is has rocks, massive step ups. You can't afford to fall. You can't afford to make a lot of mistakes here. So we will be taking our time getting through here and helping each other out. So I'm trying to get a little pivot here to the left and where my back tire can get some traction and get up this rock face. Hit it around, there's Colin. <laughs> Same thing, he didn't carry enough speed up to get him over that face. You can see how steep it is and how soft. It just went from pure sand straight into the rock. <laughs> then he, he lets the bike pin him, so he's kind of pinned under the his bike right there. Trying to do a little zigzag. 
Pick it up. Alright, just gonna do a little bike push here, no harm in that. Get up and over. It's actually not a hard rock. Like I said, if you carried momentum, you'd get up and over that pretty easy. Here comes Kyle. Let's see what he can do. Nice. Noise. That's how it's done, yeah. folks. Right there. <laughs> Sorry. You hear that echo? Yeah, it's pretty good. There you go. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be a struggle. I mean, this is just, this is it's the first stuff. little obstacle. Really? And it's, it's going to get a whole uh, lot worse. Transmission? Fluid? It has a transmission. Oh. Uh -huh. I'll help push. get into this it's rocky step up slabs <laughs> with the exposure you got cliffs on the right let's do a switch back the cliffs on the left just you can't afford to fall pull you know pulling that front tire helps so tremendously if you try to push someone in the back I don't think it's nearly as effective as uh, just pulling that front tire let's see Poor Colin. Colin doesn't have a, a E start, so he gets in some pretty hairy uh, angles here with his bike, and he still has to kickstart it. <laughs> he might be going to the dealer looking for an E start pretty soon. All right, really getting into it now. Look at this nice chunky rock. We've got a cliff right on the right. It is. This is awesome. I love this stuff. This stuff. Thumbs up, that means you're good. So I love leaving in as much of the struggle of my rides as I can. You know, I, when I get back, especially a hard ride. Sorry for the noise in the background, that's my son. He's playing with some toys and banging them around. But I love showing the struggle. So when I get back, show my, my wife, friends like they, we went through some nasty gnarly stuff and it was tough just look at this trail already that is steep off to our uh, right hand side there the downhill you got all these rock slabs going uphill here i'll get the front i uh, was just setting a couple kicker stones to help get us up and it's gonna wear us out we're gonna need a little little help Oh. Nice save, Colin. 
Kyle's bike almost took a tumble off the side there. That would have been a disaster. Not bad. Teamwork. You got Kyle on the bottom being the uh, the spotter for the catch, and then I'm being the puller on the top, getting it done. Gonna be a whole lot more of that coming up. Doesn't look as bad. Looks better. We got a big left switchback coming up here. He goes right onto this uh, slab sandstone, and I'm going to go for it. Oh, so okay. close. I, close! I'm going to give that one more go. No, yeah, that was worse. way worse. Um, it's going to take all three of us to get our bikes up through this section. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Move the tire over the top. Right. The rear. Good call. You're right on the edge. Right on the edge. All right, good. This one might be better over here if you can get to it. It's just a series of step ups. Have one after another, after Using another, after another. Pivot it up there. Uh, I'm gonna do it right here. Just pop a wheelie up. Yeah. I just gotta do a little wheelie up here. Pop the nose up. Boom. There's the front end. That's a pretty big jump. <laughs> just not a lot of room for air. There you go. almost ran over. He's right in front of my tire back there. <laughs> he was a little cold. He was moving slow. Time for a little break and just enjoying the view. Look at that. This is really what got me back into dirt biking is uh, trail riding. I used to ride a lot of track and th this just beats it. Hands down. I, it's just beautiful. I love this. Look at this fucking... Kyle, he finds a little twig and he thinks it's a, <laughs> thinks it's a worm, but it's just a stick. <laughs> like, yeah, what, what is a worm doing up here? All right, Kyle, let's see what he can do. So bad. I thought Colin was going to hit it right here because he hopped back on the bike. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to push. Yep. I'd love to see someone just hit this and I'll see how a pro would do it. That'd be awesome.
But amateurs like us, we're still having a good time, you know. This is teamwork, getting through these trails. This is, oh, I'm having a blast. I know not everyone likes this style of riding. Some people just like fast, flowy, and easy. But, I mean, that's fun too. But I love this, just the struggle. The harder it is, the more I like it. So, <laughs> enough beats up your bike. Some people don't like them either because they say, oh, you just break your bike on these trails. I don't know, it's something about getting through, putting your, puts your soul to like the test, like the limits of, of you as a human, <laughs> Try, trying to get the, your bike up a hill. Oh, we made it. Yeah, just enough. Nah. Yeah, we've gone like a hundred yards. <laughs> Pretty sweet. It's fucking good training here. All right, break tagging over. Let's get up to the top. We didn't come here to sit around all day. Let's go. Look at this though, just awesome. <laughs> it is a vertical drop to the left and then it's just a cliff to your right. There's hardly any room for air. Even kind of across this bluff here, you still got to deal with some soft sand. That was me just walking around, my footprints there. I walked forward just to make sure that this did loop around. But yeah, so to deal with the soft sand. Ooh, nice pivot. So, it just makes it a little tricky having to go through the sand and then you go straight onto the rocks. view oh, I was loving the views every I mean I could be a broken record about it but the views are just amazing on this trail love sand totally messing with your head though because it was making these sections here just really soft like you had to stay in the rut because if you got off the rut you're, you're tired you start going downhill a really cool spot through here it really gets cliffy you got a cliff on your left and then a cliff goes up to the right there and you got this little uh, ledge step that lets you go right around it that was just awesome like really cliffed out trails you guys got to try um, it's in Rabbit Valley which is just south of Grand Junction and it's called the Rim Trail and it follows a trail right on the edge of a cliff the entire time all right <laughs> there's a big drop I don't know maybe a hundred foot drop there in the left yeah, and I, I was just in my head saying, all right, don't think about it. I'm just just get there. We want to get a photo. So I stood. I was like, all right, just don't. 
Hurry up, take the powder, don't think about it. Ready. Ready. <laughs> Alright, pictures in the books. That was it was scary seeing out those rocks. Ooh, look at that nice pivot. Feels oh, good to get yeah. a good pivot turn in. If you guys are big pivot turners like I am, it, I practice all the time and to actually hit one on the trail felt great. Usually you can do them on flat land at home. And it, when it matters on the trail, you get, you know, especially when it's cliff fee or whatever, you're like, ah, I'm not going to try for the 180. Just a little bit. Alright, we got to go up another step here, another level. We should change this from steps of doom to just like, um, call it like a wedding cake. It's got to be like the wedding cake trail because there's just so many different levels that you got to get up to the next little level, then you climb the to the next level and then you climb to the next level. That might be a good name for it, you know, like post wedding cake. <laughs> oh <laughs> this spot here is actually several lines you can hit. So I think we all tried a different line here. <laughs> and none of them were that easy for us, the average guys. I would like to do that. If I spent some more time right here, I could I could get up here in one shot. I, I think. Definitely working way too hard. <laughs> I think to the right I should have went up. Kyle hit a, a cleaner line, that and then to pretty. the right of Kyle actually there was another line that, wasn't pretty, but got it that done. I wish I would have tried out because it looked a little bit easier. But I guess I went for the hard line. That's how I do it every time. If there's a if there's a hard way to do it, I find the hardest way to do it. You're calling, you're going backwards, buddy. <laughs> Alright, he moves over. And he goes, I think, just yeah, to where, a little right to where Kyle went up. And you can see how much easier he gets up there. He picked the better line. That was the best line choice. Right there. Alright, this next section. Oh, it was brutal. That is just nasty. It is just ledge after ledge after ledge. And it took all three of us all our strength to get our bikes up this. Now you really got to have a good set of riders to do this kind of ride because it's not flowy it's just a ton of work you're gonna be sweating you're gonna be cursing you're gonna be hating your life <laughs> and you gotta have guys that love that so you know Kyle Colin and me that, it was perfect the struggle was real and uh, we didn't give up Let me try to get on this side. I think I got her. All right, I, I hope you like your riding buddies at this point in the trail because you're gonna need them. This is by far the hardest part. And it's gonna just kill all three of us to get our bikes up there. You can see the little stack of rocks there in the top there. That's marking the trail. But 
it is just brutal getting through here. Look at that. Get the front end up, and then we uh, we gotta have help getting the rest of the bike up. Yeah, it's gonna need help. There's just not a good spot to put your bike anywhere here. There's not a good place to put your foot anywhere in here. It is so tight and steep. It's ridiculous. I'm glad I have Roxy now. The 250 is just a lighter bike. You know, even wet, I think it's the same as uh, the 300 down there. So the 250 WR is at, I think about 228 or 230, something like that. Whereas my 450, I'm sitting up at 270. So <laughs> I'm glad we didn't have the 450 here. All right, we're almost to the top. This is like the last little bit. That counts. Uh, I got it. I can get it from here. See you guys later. The confidence knowing the bike can make it. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm glad I left all this in here because years from now, <laughs> this is the part that we're going to remember the struggle. You know, people love the fast, flowy <laughs> stuff. A lot of clickbait out there, of just what people can do and get up easy. But years from now, we're all three just you gonna sit around, and have some whiskey, and laugh about this trail and how the struggle yeah. we're going? <laughs> was so bad. Oh, it's beautiful though. I love it. All right, I'll move to the front. Coming up. Yeah, you can see there's just like even just standing there's no to be a spotter is perilous <laughs> there's no good footing here yeah it's just uh drag the back so i've done a hard enduro before I did the donner hard enduro last year and i was able to do one lap which it was a day, it was a struggle. But Kyle and Colin have not done a hard enduro. So I keep telling Kyle about it and, and um, so he, they both want to do this. I said, it's gonna be a hard enduro style war. It's, it is a battle, like every foot is a battle. And at our level, you know, the average rider at a hard enduro, every foot is, <laughs> is a battle. It's earned. 
So they got it through, and uh, like we got grinding grinding stones coming up next year. I think that'll be the first one, similar to mine, as far as the sandstone is. So they got a taste, and if they can do this and still smile, laugh about it, then they're gonna do grinding stone just fine. Oh, there's Kyle with the save. He got it calling back. Calling save Kyle earlier in the video where Kyle almost let his bike roll down the hill. Now Kyle got him back. So Colin lost his balance there. And he saved it. <laughs> uh, this is just ridiculous. This is what dirt bikers do. When you love dirt biking, look at the torture you put your, your body through, you put your bike through it. This is great. Yeah. You'll show this to your your wife, your girlfriend, your friends and family. Like, why'd you do this weekend? Oh, we went up the side of his bluff. It was so hard, we basically carried our bikes to the top. And they're like, well, why'd you do that? It doesn't sound fun at all. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, no, it wasn't fun. It was. It was so much work, we're exhausted, like you're about to just let your bike roll down the hill and turn into a mass of metal. I'm ready. But you'll love it. There we go, victory at last. We made it to the top. Oh. <laughs> Gotta catch my Brad. Look at that view though. Oh my god, that was amazing. Just kidding, there's another level. There's one more step we gotta get up. This is the top right here. Actually this isn't the top either. It just keeps going up and up and up. It just never ends. So have you guys comment, tell me what the name of this trail should be. I mean, I was going with Steps of Doom. It's almost like layered like a cake. It's just when you think you're to the top, there's another layer you gotta climb over. <laughs> and maybe there's a name already for it, and you guys know all about it. I don't know, it's my, only my second time riding here. I love it though, man. Look at that view, it's just incredible. That was good, it shows the... Once you're on top of the bluff here, you're just a whole bunch of Jeep trails that are, they're like rock, I guess not Jeep, but more rock crawler trails. Super rocky, very extreme drop off, and you can just see the tire marks of everyone. They, had, they have areas where they have sticks in the ground where people are winching up the rock crawlers to get up and down the rocks. And there's a couple no, sections, I'd like to do this again, I hear you, Grant. Yeah, he's excited about the uh, the rocks too. <laughs> there's a couple sections here that are just. I mean, you can spend all day. This is a fantastic learning environment for me. A couple of gaps you had to get over, uh, practicing your double blips, your zaps, uh, splatter, and you know, just clutch control and balance, and then confidence too, believing, knowing that the bike can get up and letting the bike do its thing. I'm no geologist or anything, but oh, just the formations of the rock and the layers. I'd love to learn all this stuff, actually. Because we go riding all over the place and the geology is just crazy looking. You know, the type of rocks you see on the trail, it's amazing. Look, so you got layers and then you get the top layers just full of holes. 
know there's wind and rain, but you know what? What makes a hole happen where a hole happens and not, you know, like two feet next to it where it's just solid rock? I'd like to know all these questions. I'm going to find out. And there's Kyle. Is he <laughs> a trail? Big step up right there. He went for it. Yeah, I need help. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to help each other over this one. Look at that gap. Just give it the old heave ho. Heave ho. <laughs> the heave ho. Bloody Mary is doing his job this morning. It's trying to kick in. <laughs> and Colin's gonna go straight to the dealer. Let me get home. Yeah. I got it, got it. Right never looking around the edges here. It's just crazy. You get this train. This is like Moab. It's just ultra rocky. You can see where all the rock crawlers have gone through. The rock crawlers are if you ever seen a rock crawler going through obstacles, they get through the most insane step ups and rock train that you've ever seen. Now, I know dirt bikes we can get go a lot of places. Kyle rides that little wall right there. <laughs> and I was like, dang, he just went for it. And I go left here, and there's a huge drop to left, you know. Not that I was gonna fall, but if you did fall, your bike's down like 30, 40 foot right there. So Kyle, he goes high on the left right there around. And uh, I come in, like he went up there to left. I'm gonna drop down here to the right. And there's just like, a wall. That's probably about five foot right there. And I'm like, oh man, I went the wrong way. Should've went high where Kyle went. Well, Colin was riding behind me. He didn't see that. So he's thinking Kyle just went right up that. So there you see Colin, boom. He just goes right up that wall. I was like, oh man, Kyle went up there. All right, I gotta go. If he did it, I could do it. Got her, yeah boy. Yeah. This was, I, I love this area, because they had some hard obstacles, and you get over each one, and it's like a sense of accomplishment. And here we go, we got the, the, uh, oh, the gap right here. Look at that level up. So this is probably about a, I don't know, seven foot step gotta, up here. And you do have a little bit of a kicker in the bottom. And then it has this, about a three foot gap that you gotta just, right there from the bottom to the top there, that's about three feet. And you gotta just send it and get over there. So I'm gonna hit that. Boom. My video it looks so easy. You know, I, I went for it. It took some confidence. I, I didn't spend too much time thinking about it. That's and I just steep. hit it. But it looks like you're, it looks scary as hell. So Kyle, he's I trying got, to think of some way around it. And he's thinking he's going to go up there. I'm like, that's so steep. Like, if you crash there, that's going to be just bad news. That, when you hit the front you one, can you see, look how already, far down Colin is. Colin's a tall guy. Hit. He's 6'3". Yeah. I'm well over the top of him. Right so that's I like a seven foot I, I up step up the right there. You do have that little bit of a but then it kicker at the bottom, over, but there's know? this huge gap you gotta just, you know, you gotta be confident. Just give it the throttle, get that front tire, pop that front tire, and it hits. 
at the second story lip there and get your bike over. So Colin did have a tow strap. I have one as well. And we, we decided, uh, you know, if you don't feel confident in hitting that, you just uh, we'll pull the bikes up. <laughs> get the bike over that that gap there with the struggle. Oh, you got it out. Holy crap. It ain't pretty, but that's how it's done. Yep. Hey, you want to be the puller? Sure. Right, you be the puller. So Kyle's gonna be the puller this time, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna help Colin be the uh, the lifter, I guess. <laughs> now this bike's a kickstart, so it's it's tricky without the e-start on this bike. Yeah, hit that sucker. It wasn't bad. Bravo for hitting that, George. Yeah, no shit. Alright, we made it. You good, George? That's how the pros do it, I think. Yeah. Oh, gas off? Yeah, yeah good. Uh, me pulling on it doesn't help with really fast. Figure that out. Yeah, but. So the rock collars go through and they've, people put in little anchor points here. There's a, one up there to the right and then right next to my handlebars right there on the right hand side is another one there. That's where they're tying off their winches and getting up this rock. Cause it's like a 40 foot climb right here with three foot gaps just like the gap we just went over. There's a bunch, there's a series of them um, going down here, which would be tough. Nah, we have to turn around. We're going to call that here. We're going to take a lunch break and Look end the video. Shit. We head down the, we turn around this point, go down the other way, and go down by uh, dinosaur tracks down there. <laughs> Cliffs in, of Insanity. <laughs> That'll be the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, Till then, get out and ride and get some. Like, Phew!